YouTube, Car Guy V8 here with another video, and I'm super excited to show off my new to me 1995 Mustang GT, which of course is the last year of the Pushrod 302 in the Mustang. And I can't believe I came across this deal. It is a fully restored Mustang GT, restored in 2018. From the paint to the top, the interior, even the engine and transmission in it. They have like 47,000 miles, I think. Some goodies have been done to the engine, which I'm not going to mention what all has been done in this video. I don't know if I'm going to yet. If I do, it'll be a surprise in a later video. But it's definitely got some work done. You already heard the exhaust. It's pretty mild. Just short tube headers, a uh, couple cats, and Flowmaster 40s, I think. It was actually... Um, restored by a much older man. I think he was an elderly man, like 65, 70. A shop owner owned a performance shop down in Dallas from what I heard. And I'll be getting paperwork soon showing all the full builds. I might go over it later. But everything's been done in 2018. So what you're seeing is, oh goodness, the best car I've ever owned by far, at least in terms of how it looks. It was a little dirty, so I, this morning it was going to storm, so I just quickly sprayed some water on it, you know, cleaned up the dirt, and I, I didn't do a perfect job because I didn't fully detail it. But you can see, this this thing shines. Uh, the vent on the other side is missing. Well, it's not missing. I have it, but it's broken, and I already ordered another one. So, And you can see some spots I missed, some water spots and stuff. I did dry it off. I guess I didn't do a good enough job. But look at this thing. It's still got the factory 95 tail lights. That was a must have. I could, honestly, I may not have wanted to have gotten it if it had the 96 to 98. I don't, that wouldn't have probably been a deal breaker. But as they did this, you know, pretty much original, same automatic, same uh, 302, like I said, with some goodies in the interior. Uh, the floor mats are a little dirty. I plan to replace those, but look at this interior. It is crazy. Everything works except for the clock right up there. I'm probably going to fix that soon, but just look at this interior. There's a few spots you see up there. I was wiping down that seat earlier. That must have been a spot I missed, maybe just slightly discolored. All right, let's, let's pop the hood, shall we? I can reach it from in here. It's got 179,000 miles on the body. Like I said, the restoration was in 2018, and the engine and transmission have about 47,000. All right, but let's let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Let's see. Ah, I may not be able to get it one in. There we go. As you can see, it looks like, from the top, it basically just looks like a mild bolt-on 302 JLT, cold air intake, MSD coil, and distributor. And you do see, uh, I believe that's a fuel pressure gauge right there, just to show you what it says. So that's good old pressure, or not old pressure, fuel pressure. And you see, it all looks like it's been reworked for the most part different radiator i believe that's the factory electric fan there not a new one you can see the short tube over there there we go I'm trying to think if there's anything else i want to show on it the wheels are nice they're 17s um the tires are 275 40s all around and that's the only thing about this. I was looking at it. I was like, man, these wheels, the tires look good. There weren't any cracks, but they are old. This front one's from 2011, and that one's 2009. So I, I will get these changed very soon. But you see, they don't look it, but they're, the date code doesn't lie. <laughs> both back are the same. Both front are the same year. So funny enough, the back are older than the front. So that's the odd thing. Might have been rotated at some point. Guys, I just thought that I'd show y'all real quickly the new... I mean, it's a show car. There's just no denying it. The older guy used to take this to car shows and stuff and cruise it. 
and it's pretty quick for what it is the uh aode 4r70w whatever it's been rebuilt built to handle some power it's got a shift kit in it so it shifts firm but that's the car guys i hope y'all look forward to seeing more content i'm ecstatic the nicest car i've ever owned by far